It's a statement of the obvious that when case numbers are rising, Test and Protect is going to be under more pressure because the volume of, of work that it is doing is bigger. We support Test and Protect to bring on surge capacity and to, to do different things to cope with that. But we can't take away completely the pressure of having between three and 4,000 cases being reported every day because that is three to 4,000 uh, cases that all have to be contact traced and all of the follow-up work done there. So we'll continue to support Test and Protect to work well. Uh, they are doing a fantastic job and uh, I understand when people are under pressure it affects morale, but please know how important a job you're doing if you work in Test and Protect and how appreciated you are for doing it. Um, and we will say to the public, at all times, try and operate in a way that helps test and protect. So not just because it's helping test and protect, but, but it's common sense. If you test positive and you know you have been in close contact with another individual, you don't have to wait for test and protect to tell them that. You can tell them that straight away um, and do all the things that Jason talked about. Use the app. If you still haven't downloaded the app, get it onto your phone. Use all of the ways in which test and protect try to make what they do more efficient. Um, so this is principally my responsibility as head of the government to make sure Test and Protect has the resources it needs. But as with every other aspect of this virus, we can all help in dealing with the situation that we're currently facing.